that's too much. All right. Yes, we got that seasoning. I'm fire, right? You want that Dr. Pepper? Oh, my mama. <laughs> Yes, you guys, so that's what we eating today. Boom, 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 more eat, Grab your drinks and your treats. Boom, 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 say hi to Agnes. Welcome to Mukbang Madness. Hey fam, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, more eats, and your girl, Agnes. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel today, y'all. We are doing a leftover seafood mukbang, y'all. Yes, we are. We have the shrimp and the lobster tails from the other day. We have some corn back here. We got, um, I also am including in this one, I'm gonna be trying the hot and spicy Nissan Firewalk molten chicken fire noodles. So that's what I got over here. And I'm also not gonna be using any utensils. So it's about to get messy. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? If it's your first time here, please like, subscribe, share me out, hit the bell, comment below. Let me know what you think of this video, y'all. If you want to be included in the no hands mukbang with the fire noodles added on the side, fire noodle, no hands, seafood boil mukbang, just do it. It ain't even going to be a challenge. It's just going to be about fun. Let's have a good time, y'all. Thank you so much for coming in. I hope everybody is doing good today. We are about to dip this corn. And I have B-Love Smackalicious sauce right here, y'all. Some B-Love Smackalicious. I said I ain't using no utensils. So we got that on there. Mm. Mm -mm. I don't know. Them sauces be better the next day. All right, this is a hot and spicy firewalk. Molten lava. Ooh, they still hot. Let me mix them up. Let me mix them up. Molten lava. Let me let them cool off for a minute. Mmm, I'm trying to kill my arm. Mmm. And sauces be so good the next day. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The video from this one was actually two or three days ago. One thing I love about YouTube is that you can film and save and post it whenever you want to. Ready? That's fine. That's fine. Oh yeah, that's spicy. It's not really unbearable um, heat, but <clears throat> yeah, that's spicy. Good. Wait, that thing got a kick. It do. Mm. Mm. That lobster tail came and the claw came right out. Right on out, y'all. Ooh. And yep, this is another seafood mukbang. I don't know, I can't get tired of them. Mm. 
everybody's sauce got something a little different. That sets it off. Sure. I am happy to announce also no utensils. I am an affiliate <clears throat> with another amazing black queen entrepreneur. Mm. In a few days, I'll be announcing that affiliation as well as my discount code and a review of their product i'm so honored and so excited to be affiliated with I should have brought a toothpick. It's going to drive me insane. Nene Eats Live. More Eats. Five at checkout for your discount. Also with Chum Dipping Sauce, which is amazing. A lot of y'all done had it. And it is so good. More Eats at checkout for your discount. Whew. And I'll be announcing the next affiliation once I get the product, once we do the mukbang. The honest review. Um, I'll be giving y'all that code as well. Since I can't get a utensil, I had to dip that whole thing. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm, 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 mm. And I'm really excited to be working with some amazing people. Just like I said in a previous video, if I feel like your hustle is real, um, you all about your business, you business savvy. Heck yeah. I would definitely stand by your brand and put the links in the videos and you know what I'm saying? It's a basic like affiliation is, you know, you help me, I help you. A different affiliate programs do different stuff. But I am just excited to just like get brands on board, like to have people even say like, Excuse me. I want you to represent my my food, my 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 brand. That in itself is an honor, you know. And I'm a big person on that support thing, you know. And I want to talk a little bit about support as well. I've got been a slurping on this shrimp. I want to talk about that support as well. Um, I think people should oh, honestly know that support is something that is gen genuinely done. And 
I think support is genuinely done. And I don't really don't think people should be expecting it. so good so dang on good um yeah so i don't think people should be expecting the support i think it's just genuinely shown genuinely done there's a lot of people on youtube people are subscribed to a lot of people on youtube you know what i'm saying you can't be out here mad in your feelings when you don't see people when you haven't seen somebody in a while you just can't be mad at that, you know? And the thing is, support goes both ways. Now, if you out here hooping and hollering about where I'm not at, you best believe I better be rolling through some, some things and seeing you there every time. So it goes both ways. Nobody is more superior than nobody You know? And YouTube, <clears throat> like I said, is a big platform, man. It's a big platform. So, if you don't see somebody in a while, you shouldn't hold them. You know what I'm saying? You should not hold them. You should be like, honestly, you should be understanding. Because in your YouTube world in your youtube atmosphere are you able to go to everybody's channel every single time they post something every single bell that's ran are you able and if you say if you are comment yes below all you have to do is say yes Because me, myself, personally, I cannot. I have a nine-to-five job. And then when I get off that job, you still got to come and maintain your household. Still got to come home, do stuff. You still got to run errands after work. Sometimes you just ain't got it in you to even think about posting. I eat every day. <laughs> but I ain't posting it every day. You know, I can't. I just ain't got the time. And God forbid, if I was doing some of the stuff you guys was doing as far as editing and throwing little sound bites, because I tried it. I bought the program. I can. I still got the program until next year sometime. I'd probably use it twice. Because I don't got the time to be editing no videos. I wish I did. Because on my thing, it's a learning curve, too. I got to learn how to edit the videos then edit the videos you know it's a whole class for me i ain't got time honestly i'm just gonna do what some people do just record your food eat your food have your conversation and my background gonna be changing up soon that's about it other than that i can't do the editing mm -mm. that and i'll try vlogging i want to i want to vlog but it takes so much away from the experience of what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Like if I'm if I could go to the place and enjoy it and then maybe go again and just say I'm just going to do this and vlog it, maybe I'll do that. But when you're on vacation, when you're doing something that you've never done before, vlogging is a pain in the ass. It's it's nerve-wracking. It it just is. It just is. You got to make sure you have this, your angle right. You got to, and then the editing on the vlogging is ridiculous too. So it's just like, I don't know. I'm not going to be a vlogger. I already know that. I'll probably go live a few places that I'm at or something like that. But, but I am definitely not going to be a, a vlogger. I just don't have the time. Now, when YouTube become my only job, Put that in the atmosphere. Then, 
then maybe I'll vlog, eat, eat, vlog, all that stuff. But when you got to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning every day, Monday through Friday, make it happen at the house. Because these YouTube checks don't pay that much. And you got to be on a good one. And literally, in order to make your YouTube quota, I don't care. Like all the small YouTubers, people that ain't got like million views and all that stuff. Um, or a hundred thousand views each video or whatever the case may be. We ain't getting paid no real. We ain't getting paid nothing. You know what I'm saying? A few hundred bucks a month. Um, I think my highest I ever got paid was 500. I don't care. I'm sharing it with everybody. Highest I got paid was 500. And that's because when I got monetized, I went live and it was like a live party and people was just blessing me. But honestly, these videos don't generate that much damn money. Unless you're getting 10K, 100K, I'm pretty sure you're getting a little money off your videos. But they really don't generate that much money. Half the time, like, my shit will carry over, then I'll get a check. Like, every two months, I'll get a check. Because I don't go live as much, you know? If I went live, maybe people would send super chats like that, but... I ain't got the time because now I'm trying to post. I'm trying to keep my post game up. It's just so much, y'all. YouTube can be taxing and it can feel like you overwhelmed because you feel like you have to or people going to be mad because you ain't there or people will call you out. I ain't seen you. I ain't seen you. But look, you got to understand. You trying to make your, your rounds. I didn't have people hit me up like, why you ain't in my membership no more? What happened? I see you took your membership away. I'm like, damn. Really? Well, the reason, honestly, that I do switch around my memberships is just because I'm trying to share the love with everybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do what I can a little bit with everybody. I switch my stuff around. I can't afford to have 50 people paying between $1.99 and $5.99 a month. I can't do it. I can't do it. So I have to keep my stuff at a minimal, you know, I send out my uh, super chats when I can. And all that shit should be appreciative regardless. Nobody should be expecting you to be doing that stuff for their channel. So, you know, that's just stuff people do out of love, you know, out of the kindness of their heart. I don't know, but some people do be expecting it. And some people depend on it probably. I don't know. I don't I can't depend on the YouTube check because I'm nowhere near the point in my YouTubeness that I can even even think of depending on YouTube or people or my YouTube family for sending me uh uh cash. I mean uh super chats. I can't. I cannot do it. Like no. Like I said, people do be expecting it. And they really be mad. But, I mean, I'm not a money tree. And I am there to support and do what I can. And like I said in my last video, so it's all about the support for me. You know, a lot of times y'all get, we all get on these damn cameras and we can't complete the challenges, but we support in the channel. You know? We might not can complete the challenge that they are offering us, whether it be a fitness challenge, whether it be an eating challenge, whatever it is. Sometimes it's just hard to do and you can't do it, but you tried to do it. That is the thing. You tried and you supporting that channel and getting that channel's name out to your people that probably don't even know this channel. So it's all about love, 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 love everywhere, everywhere mukbang and love i love to see everybody doing their healthy challenges we got to do more of these healthy challenges y'all because this whole mukbang and butter sauce and all this stuff while it is so amazing so good to our taste buds it's not good to our hearts or nothing nothing it's not good for our blood pressure all you know it's just not good 
So we need to do some more of these healthy challenges. I'm with it. Anybody got one that I haven't done? Please comment below. I am about to get up out of here. I appreciate you, 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 and you. Thanks so much for coming back some more eats. Boom, boom, boom. Say bye to Agnes. Thanks for coming to Mama Bang Madness. Bye, baby.